beautiful view the background <laughs> so away from that this is not a travel vlog this is not a candy talks vlog so today i'm going to be doing something a bit different i'm introducing a segment of girls talk or a ladies talk i don't know how i'm going to name it i'll just know by the end of this video or by the time i'm posting this video so today i'm going to be talking um i want to bring uh this new segment of my channel called girls talk where we talk about girls issues where we talk about just everything that affects us as women so yeah that's the point of this segment of the youtube channel so today we are going to be talking about the different collection methods when we are menstruating and let me just put a disclaimer that i am not a medical doctor a nurse i have no degree whatsoever um when it comes to medicine and all that so this segment this all that i'm going to talk about will will be things that i have experienced or things that i have researched or things that i have had my i've had women talk about so yeah but it's nothing it's nothing too serious it's going to be sort of not i, I don't know maybe you'll find that fun is different maybe you'll find it fun maybe you're not going to find it fun but yeah so this is just something that um i feel most we don't we didn't get like when i was growing up i, I don't think i got like enough study or enough knowledge when it came to such kind of things um the only thing i remember when we were in class six we were called when we were in class six we were called like girls uh and we were shown how to was it class six or four that was when i was yeah because i had not transferred school yet i was so uh we were called as girls we were shown how to put um pads on the on our inner wear so once you we were shown that you we were also given i remember the f <laughs> i was still so young i had not started it and had not even thought about you know menstruating or when my periods are going to come I used to be a very tiny girl but being tiny does not mean like your periods are going to be late some get it earlier some had even got started menstruating by then so it was a necessary lesson but i feel like they didn't go in depth they didn't tell us um they didn't tell us they didn't educate us and you see educating one time does not mean that you're going to have that knowledge you uh by the time you're getting because i remember i remember when i first got my period i think i was in form one so four years when i was class class four to i finished my primary school level then i went to high school that's when i got and you can't tell me that that knowledge of when i was in class four i was still remembering it when i was in form one so yeah so basically that's it over the years things have evolved and i don't know so i'm just going to start with a few here with me i have about three major collection methods the, that is the cup i don't know how many have used the cup uh, the tampons they have pads and of course now the other form of pads which is recyclable i'm just going to give my honest review of how it how how i experienced them or how i felt how comfortable i was with using them um, so yeah this is just out of experience so we're going to start with the cup which comes in this nice little pocket where if you're not using it i really hope you can see if you're not using it once you're done so it comes in this little pouch or pocket looks cute um so once you open that you get this 
and this is what we use this is what you're using we don't use this so how this works i think you, you're going to fold these like this into a c and before before even folding it it's labeled where uh into the a quarter oz and a half oz so when it reaches here the half oz that's when you get it out and pour it <sighs> how to have it so i'll assume this is where it's entering so you've already made your fold so once you insert it well enough and let it it will just have without you doing anything else it will just stretch itself out and hold still and it's very firm as you can see i've not increased the length or the intensity so once you feel like it's full what you have to do is hold now you pull it from this is how it <laughs> this is how it's going to be so you just pull it you pull it again so i think you have to pull it like that just hold it steady and as you pull it that way the liquid won't pour out so how i found it i wouldn't say oh it's even in ml so these are 7.5 ml and a 15 ml so as for, for me like i stayed with it for around eight hours after after every sorry what did i say eight never stay with it for eight hours so depending with your flow for me every after every four hours i usually go and change my whatever collection method i'm using i'll go and change it so with this one it wasn't so bad but um for the first as a first time user it was not that comfortable considering i was not used to it and so let's come to the pros and cons of this so for the cup i'll say let's start with the cons so the cons number one it's the price but considering i'll, I'll, I'll just defend it a little bit uh, on the price issue because when i bought this i remember i bought it for around 2500 or oh, it was 3000 i'm not so sure but it was that price but the f if you look at the long term use if you calculate your cost on the long term use for every month you, you do not spend on the pads so at the end of the day i feel like it's going to end up to to add up and become cost efficient for it's a long term investment for this one the other con um is that it's a bit uncomfortable when you when you're inserting it and that is for the first time use but once you get used to it i believe it's going to get easier and better yeah the other thing that it's a con for me is if which it applies to all other collection methods if you do not if you do not wear it well it might mess you up big time and we really don't want that we really do not want that so we come to the pros the pros is um it's a one-time investment so it saves you costs <laughs> you don't have to buy one of these every month so you can use it over a long period of time that's an amazing thing especially because buying i feel like buying pads every now and then is can become costly the other thing is um the other pro the other pro is that it's clean yeah it's not messy so when you're going during the day when you still have this on and you go about your business it's everything is just clean and it does not mess you up you don't have to wipe blood all 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 the time so yeah when you're going for a short call for a long call like you just find the area clean it's not messy it's not bloody it's not you know all that yeah so that's one of the things that i really liked about this okay <laughs> are, are there any other um, side effects are there side effects for this i have not heard of any yet so if any of you have used this and gotten any side effects 
let me know in the comment section below that way we get to educate everyone who's watching this video yeah let's move into the next collection method which is my favorite by the way my favorite collection method is this beautiful you know the tampons i hope you can see this so the yeah the tampons um there are this this line once there's this line um that shows you where you where to open it from so as from the part from the sorry from the tampon you'll see the arrows directing you on how to how to open it so you just twist this is this clockwise so you just twist clockwise and the other hand you twist anti-clockwise so you open up the uh, just like that so one you get one side and the other side you get it out so this is how it looks once you unwrap it and there is this string sorry so there's that string that once you insert it like this this one you're going to leave it dangling so once the once the tampon is full once you want to what is it called once you want to remove it this is how you ju you'll just pull you'll, ha you'll have to pull it out but you be careful you just don't pull it they have pulled it so you just pull it bit by bit and be careful that the string does not cut otherwise if it cuts you'll have to go to the doctor to remove it or you can try to remove it but i wouldn't recommend that so you have to really insert and pull it out so just once when you're pulling it don't just make sure the string does not detach itself so i want to show you how it normally is once it gets um, some liquid on on it i'll just so i'm going to insert this i don't know if you can see or let me just use something else something clearer so i'll use something clearer you just see how it behaves so there it is so the whole mass of it so this is how it looks when it's full i don't make a mess so this is how it looks when it's full and it becomes quite uh, slightly heavy so you have to be really careful when you're pulling this one out so we come to the pros and cons of tampons i i don't know so first of all before i start with the pros and cons this is the brand i use um i love it because um i don't know i'm just ever since i was a teenager i've been using the cortex pads so i've just grown with the pads with the with the brand name so when i started using the tampons the first brand that i went for was um the cortex though there are some og brands that i used to see my mom use the ob i've never used it so i really can't give a review but i am assuming it's just the name it's, it's just a brand name and um it works the same way and there's no much difference to when it comes to it yeah so the the pros and cons the the first pro will be i find it um really clean i find it clean in that um i can't i don't have to i don't have to Okay, when I'm doing other businesses, it's it's clean and there's it's not messy. It's just there's no blood, uh, there's no bloody mess, and there's no everything is just clean. So you just do your businesses just as a as you would have in a normal uh, during the normal days when you're not on your period. Uh, the other thing, the other pro for me, I find it cost effective because compared to the the things that i want it to do for me one yeah it's not messy the second one is the thing that i love most about tampons is that 
it does not matter when whether I'm on my periods or I'm not on my periods I can swim anytime because I can I can swim when I'm on my periods I can swim when I'm not on my periods da so it really does not you ha I don't have to wor to worry about uh, getting the pool messy and all that yeah so those are the two most benefits that the two things that I really really love about tampons so when it comes to the price i would find it cost effective because it does what it needs to do for me compared to other collection methods um so the cons maybe it might be a little bit expensive or not so the cons so yeah, it might be a little bit expensive because the price range is around 250 shillings to 350 shillings i am not sure i don't want to give a specific a specific price because i am not sure the other thing um depending on your flow um it might the string like i i had shown you earlier this string depending on how deep it was or how you remove it you it might cut and that will when it when it detaches itself you'll just have to go to the hospital to have it removed again if you leave it there for too long i don't know how how people get to just leave it there for like once the string detaches you assume it will get out by itself so you leave it inside that that way it's going to bring infections and it just go, it's going to cause a, a whole lot of problems to you so yeah no 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 Please, when it when it detaches, in case it detaches, please rush to the hospital to have it removed. <sighs> so much noise. <laughs> I hope you won't be seeing, hearing it. So just rush to the hospital, have it removed, and have yourself a a healthy vagin. Yeah. So now moving on to the next collection methods, I'll have this, the OG, the pads. So with the pads, I'm just going to open it. So this is how it looks, the pads. this is the OG this is what you're introduced to when your kids when you when you get of age so this is I don't know if everyone has had this uh, the pep talk with the parents or your guardian or when you're in school or something but yeah that's the OG that's what we were introduced to when we first had this talk and I remember it was back when I was in class 4 so there's this um, there's this um, lady who came to talk to us as girls, introduced this to us, explained us how it's going to be, how you how to attach it to your innerwear and and all that. So it was quite helpful and inform and and formal. No, uh, not formal. It was quite help helpful, which is okay which was an okay but i feel that it was not enough because we were not exposed to the different types of of um, collection methods also there's this uh let me go back to the tampons there's this um i'll call it a myth that you can't wear tampons when you are virgin i don't think that really applies because it's too soft to just go and break your hymen it's it's a soft mass of ball it can't break your hymen or something so that's a myth to me i feel like every girl whether on a 
from a young age to whether you've just started menstruating, the not sexually active, the sexually active ones, all of them can wear tampons. Yeah, so back to the pads. Um, as a collection method, it's something that I will not prefer it because of the needs that I have. And I also don't like the fact that it's um, quite messy. Yeah, it, it, there's just, you end up doing a lot of cleaning when during that time. And also the time of changing still stands the same for maximum, then the one that you really pushed it, five hours, let it not pass there. So yeah, the pros is that it's clean. No, it, it's it's cheap because they range from around 50 shillings to like a hundred bob. So it's quite cheap, it's quite affordable and guys can, I mean like for like, I don't, okay, given the situation, I don't want to sound biased, but I believe like for every month, someone can no ma doesn't matter where you are but you can try and save that 50 shillings for you to get this just um the pad also uh, we move to the other methods i'll say they're quite similar to the pad they're quite similar to the pad um but now they are disposable pads so the disposable pads. So the first one, it's called um, a flexi pad. It's material. It's material. It's all cloth. But then here, it's like a. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, like a Macintosh, like a Macintosh um, texture. So that way it won't leak or a raincoat on hey or a raincoat like the texture for a raincoat that way you see like if you're you're leaking it's not going to leak into your clothes so when you're using it then it comes with this it comes with this um let me see how it is it take it comes with this piece of cloth when you buy it it's just a normal it looks like a flannel but i don't know if it's a it's the normal flannel so it's made it's 80 percent polyester and 20 percent polyamide so me i don't know what those terms mean but i'm assuming it's it's the it's a recommended one when it comes to collecting your your menses so it's called a high absorbency towel. So high absorbency towels. I think those, the eighty percent polyester and the twenty percent poly, polyamide makes it absorbable. So yeah. So once you, so this is how it looks. It comes with this cloth, and it's made of this raincoat material, and the mesh, the mesh bit. So this is where you enter, and it has wings. I don't I think all of them have wings so it has wings it has this and it has this piece of cloth and so I want to show you how to put it it's square so there's no specific side or so just fold it like this into first fold it into the first half right then like that again i hope you've seen so this this one makes it even like so you have literally like four layers like one two uh three four uh, so the other thing to do now is inside
this is what you get now this is the usable the recycler the recyclable <laughs> the recyclable pads which hmm i don't know it's 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 really nice especially for girls who can't quite afford buying the pads every every other month so you just buy this one time and you get um a lifelong a lifelong service out of this you just every time you finish once you you feel like it's full all you have to do is take it out um, I'll recommend having two or three of these if you're menstruating. So once you finish, once you finish, once you feel like your pad is full, what you have to do is just take it out. Yes, it's it's messy. This one is them. I feel like it's the messiest of them all, <laughs> the recyclable ones. So after you finish this, just take it out. You can wash it, hang it, or just. If you're in a public place, just wrap it in a paper, then you're going to wash it once you get home and insert the other piece of cloth. Same same thing happens. So this is something that you can use it for a very long time. And if you're comfortable with washing your menses every time, um, that's okay for you. But uh, my review is that, oof, it's not something that I would look forward to, and it, this, 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 mm -mm, it's not for me to be honest. It's not a collection method that I really like or admire. I didn't like the experience, just the fact that one, it's still as messy as the normal pad, and the fact that on top of it being messy i'll have to go an extra mile and clean the towels for me but if you're comfortable doing that and you know you can't afford it saves you and you can't afford the daily the monthly purchase of the normal pads or any other or the tampons because also for the cup it's a it's a one-time purchase and you're good <sighs> so that's the only that's the only con that from my end otherwise everything else will be nice and okay and I'll, I'll just I'll recommend it also uh, another instruction is that do not wash this with hot water just wash it with cold water then don't you know don't rinse it like this you just after you wash and you're done just rin just hang it and let it dry on its own don't don't do this don't do this others will be spoiling i think the the material and it will stop being highly absorbent lastly but not least i don't know what that means it's the period panty so i'd already put the cloth inside so it comes with this <laughs> it comes with this uh, panty and it's a sp it's specially made for the period in that it has the same it has the same um, what is this called it has the same mesh the material on the outside though is it's a it's comfortable it's quite comfortable actually the panty so unlike now this the the outside material it's the normal panty material but once on the inside now where this cloth is going to be placed you get this raincoat raincoat or macintosh material of course to prevent the to prevent the menses from leaking so it is quite it's quite nice so yeah it also comes with the same piece of cloth and the same applies hmm, only smaller is it yeah it's smaller the one for the period panty it's it's smaller in size compared to that one for the pad which is okay and it makes sense to make it more comfortable so i won't go doing the demonstration again because it works the same way as the recyclable uh, pad so just do the same thing you insert it 
I wish there was an easier way of inserting this thing, but since there isn't, we just deal with it as it is. Just make sure it sits well, and I think that's an improvement they can make, making it easy to insert it. Like it, it, it's not easy. Or maybe there's an easier way of inserting it, but for me, I just found it difficult when it came to when it came to inserting these things. It's it's, it's quite difficult. <sighs> By the time you set it up and all that, uh, me, I don't like that hassle. I just love to make my my life easy, my work easier, especially during the period time. Uh, if I could have robots serving me, I would have. So, just make sure the work will be now to make sure that it has sat well and it's not going to be uncomfortable when you wear it. So that's how it looks. And <laughs> sorry, I'm showing you my knickers in, on the camera. So this is how it looks. It's quite comfortable, by the way. It doesn't press. The, the material is soft, and I'll say it was a good, it was a good purchase. But overall and in general, I'll place these two in the same category. I'll place these two in the same category. Um, for me, it's it, it's excuse that so for me it's quite a hassle when it comes to inserting that cloth that's the con that's the major con for me and i would not mm -mm. for me it, it, i would not recommend it because of that but if you're comfortable with all that and the fact that once um once it's full when it comes to changing it's even more difficult for me but maybe there's an easier way or maybe i'm the one who does not really know how to insert it well but you can try or if you've tried it you can let me know if you found an easier method of doing it in the comment section below so those are the major collection methods the other thing that i would like to have is the panty liners which towards the end I like I like the wrapped ones. There's also the longer ones where they are not wrapped. So these ones are good, especially when you're traveling. So there's these panty liners. Um, they are smaller than the pad, and this is how it looks. This is how it looks on the. This is how small they are, and towards the end of the menses, I instead of wasting a whole tampon or a whole pad. I like to use these ones to just towards the end and also for everyday use. That way I don't have I feel like I don't I'm not wasting a whole a whole pad just to get tiny droplets of the end of the period. So this is a this was just a as a recommendation and also for everyday use. That way you can actually you can change this like two to three times two to three times a day that way it keeps your panty clean and it keeps just everything clean you, you feel refreshed every time you change so yeah that's it for the collection methods let me know what you think of the topic if there are any pros and cons that i, I might have left out let me know oh and lastly before leaving there is um also this as a period as a what is it called? It's called an. It's a. I think it's a wash lotion for the virgin. So highly recommended. So if you, if you want, you can also be using that. Especially like all the time. There's no especially here. So you can use it as long as one 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 thing that you can't do is douche. Even if, don't douche, please. Douching is bad. Douching is bad for you, the health of it, like anywhere, it's just bad, it's not recommended anywhere, there's no benefit of douching because the, the virgin area just cleanses itself, it cleanses itself, here we're just adding extra cleanliness and extra freshness, 
So this is something that I love using. Though I love the Vwash brand, but it's 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 quite hard to find nowadays. So this is the second. This is the first time I was using this and it wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad, but it's something that I will not uh, if I get the V wash, for me I am loyal to bland to brands. <laughs> I am loyal to brand. Eh, I'm loyal to brands, so it's not it's not a bad one. It's not a bad one, but yeah, it's it works the same way as a V wash. So this is have yourself a V wash. Have yourself of any kind. So depending on the brand that you like. So yeah that's it for the period talk and the things and the brands that i like using the collection method i prefer most um of course it's the tampon and the second best will be the cup the second best will be this the cup because just on the basis that it's clean and it doesn't leave a messy surface area that's why i love them um okay so we've come to the end of our session so i'll see you in the next the next girl talk i hope so uh also let me know issues that issues that you would like uh, me to address uh from my experience of course you know i am not an expert but i'll give an honest opinion and things that i've, I've experienced also so yeah see you in the next vlog bye Maybe we can